says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment you shall condemn it it is up to you and i to condemn it the bible says take up the full armor of god you take it up and put on the full armor to resist the devil don't wait for reverend key don't wait for any pastor or prophet when you know you have an emergency situation. Nobody, you call yourself the fasting. Call that three days fasting. Call that one day fasting. And cancel and send the arrows back to the sender. Say no to the devil. Tell the devil, I'm, I'm not going to die. Tell the devil, no matter how much you hinder me, I'm going to break through. Tell the devil, I'm going to prevail. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to pass the exams. I'm going to be delivered. I'm going to be healed. I'm coming out of this pain. My marriage will work out. I, God is going to save my husband. God is going to save my son, my daughter, my wife. God is going to bring peace. You must speak forth the word of God into your situation and that's why you have to have the word that's why we emphasize on this prayer line that read the word read the word because man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of god it is the word of god that will help you in times of trials in times of tribulation in times of of of, of challenges it will be the word of god that you will use to change the outcome of evil God said to him, son of man, prophesy to these dry bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. O dry bones, O dry bones, hear. Meaning that problems have ears. Problems have ears. Problems have ears. And if you speak to that problem, the problem will hear the word of God and submit. That's what the Bible says that God has given Jesus a name that is above every name. That at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, both in heaven and on earth, and then the earth, that Jesus Christ is Lord. Every, everything will bow. Everything will submit to the voice of God. Problems have ears. So you can speak to cancer. You can speak to diabetes. You can speak to high blood pressure. You can speak to arthritis. You can speak to kidney disease, liver disease. You can speak to that unemployment. You can speak to that delay. You can speak to that spirit of rejection. You can speak to any witchcraft or demonic attacks. You, are you can speak and they have ears. Because the last time the Bible says that there was a boisterous storm that was hitting the boat of Jesus Christ and his disciples. And the disciples kept quiet. And when they kept quiet, they were, the, the boat was going to capsize and they were going to die. And when they kept quiet, Jesus woke up. They woke Jesus up. And Jesus spoke and said, Peace be still. He spoke. And the wind heard the voice of God. It calmed down and the storm ceased. There was, a, there, was, there was a wind behind the storm and it heard the voice of God and it became still. If you don't speak to the element behind your problems, it will choke you. It will suffocate you. It will drown you. It will finish you. You must speak to your dry bones. Don't sit down for your marriage to dry up. Don't sit down for your finances to dry up. Don't sit down for the devil to dry up your son and your daughter and waste their lives when you can pray and say, Satan, leave my daughter alone. Satan, leave my son alone. Satan, leave my marriage alone. Satan, get thee behind me. You have come into my work environment causing conflict and chaos and confusion between me, my supervisors, my co-workers and my customers. Satan, I cast you out and I banish you out of this place. You have no place in this area. You will not take my joy. You will not take my peace. Satan, you cannot take my life prematurely through cancer, through diabetes or whatever it is. You must speak to your dry bones. You must do what? Speak to that dry bones. And here we are, instead of speaking and prophesying to the dry bones, the word of the Lord, you are crying. You think the devil is moved by your cries? You think the devil is moved by your, your, your crying? In fact, the crying excites the devil. Yes, he's gotten you. It's like when you are fighting with somebody and you, you hit the, the, person, uh, the person and the person begins to uh, uh, scream or, 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 or back down. Then he say, yeah, 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 this point has gotten him. So let me go and finish. Your crying allows the devil to know that he has gotten an adv advantage over you. And so he's coming in to steal, to kill and to destroy. And therefore, you must resist the devil. The Bible says resist the devil, submit to God first, resist the devil and he will flee from you. You must declare. 
you must decree you must fight back somebody god is calling you fight back resist the devil and he will flee from you speak say to the dry bones say to your dry bones say to the dry, speak to that dry bones and that dry bones will hear the word of the lord and it will change its order we have ha we have dry bones in our lives and we are not speaking to it and therefore some of us have become victims we have permanently accepted the outcome of the dry bones Oh, the outcome of the dry bone says, I have cancer. I'm about to die. So let me die. The outcome of the dry bone is that every time I become pregnant, I miscarry and I can't have a child. So maybe I'm born to be barren. Uh, the outcome, uh, uh, the, the dry bones in my life is that every time I date people or enter into relationship, it doesn't work out. And then, uh, so maybe I'm not meant to marry. And maybe I may have to live my life single forever. Uh, the dry bones in my life is that last year, last two years, last three years, last five years, I've been looking for employment and I don't get a job so why even seek for another employment let me just uh live my life as an un unemployed and, and and please come on you got to start fighting back and you fight back by the word of god and you when you use the word in faith you have victory faith comes by hearing and hearing ye the word of god god was saying to ezekiel prophesy to the dry bones prophesy prophesy that everybody's marriages in my family is not working but as for me my marriage will work my marriage will work out my marriage will work out my marriage even if my marriage didn't work out i am praying and prophesying into the life of my daughter into the life of my sons and my grandchildren that their marriage will survive they will not go through the experience of divorce abuse separation and conflict i went through in my marriage it ceases for me i am a curse breaker and i prophesy that my children and grandchildren great grandchildren their marriage will succeed they will do better than i i have struggled with poverty but my children and grandchildren will succeed they will prosper they will be rich they will have more than enough and they will take care of me in my old age i prophesy that even though the doctors are diagnosing, diagnosing me with cancer, they are diagnosing me with uh, uh, this and that, they've diagnosed my son or daughter with autism, I, 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 I prophesy that I am healed by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am healed by the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't accept the evil diagnosis from the doctors or the lab report. I am standing on the word of the Lord that God is my healer, God is my physician, and therefore I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. I walk in health, I walk in strength. I will not die but live and declare the wonderful words of the Lord. Even though I dreamt and in the dream, I saw myself dead and I saw dead relatives and I've been seeing people who are dead in my dreams, but I have declared and prophesied into my life that I shall not die. People in my family are dying before 40. People in my family are dying before 50. People in my family are dying in 60s. People in my family are dying mysteriously, indiscriminately. But as for me, because of my covenant relationship with Jesus Christ, because I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, I prophesy that I will not die. I will not die of cancer. I will not die of an accident. No sickness will kill me and no evil all time. My mother's house or father's house will kill, destroy me because I am unique and redeemed by the blood. If you don't prophesy to the dry bones, you will remain dried. You will do what? You will remain dried and people are still dried up, dead because they are not speaking to the dry bones by the spirit of the living God. Arise, child of God, and begin to speak into the life of your son. Arise, child of God, and speak into the life of your husband. Into the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I prophesy that my husband, it doesn't matter how long it takes, he will become a Christian. He will become a Christian. Holy Spirit arresting. Holy Spirit changing. Holy Spirit arresting. Holy Spirit changing. If you keep on prophesying the dry bones of that unsaved spouse, suddenly the hand of God will touch him. The power of God will touch him. And he will become a believer. If you don't give up on your son, if you don't give up on your daughter, they may go deep into the value of the pit. David says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no Your daughter can be very disobedient. Your son can be very disobedient. They may end up in jail. They may be still next pregnant. They will mess up by your prayers of prophesying that it shall be well with my daughter. It doesn't matter what mistakes he makes. It doesn't matter what errors he is in him. He is, she is going to come out. He is going to come out and it shall be well with him. It doesn't matter the diagnosis. I prophesy that my son is healed. My daughter is healed and they are not going to be destroyed by the devil. Satan, take your ugly hands off my son. Satan, take your ugly hands off my daughter. My daughter belongs to Jesus. My son belongs to Jesus and his destiny is to live to please Jesus and you fulfill his destiny in the name of Jesus. Satan, I forbid you from destroying my son or daughter. 
it will surprise you that he may go to jail, but he may be teenage pregnant, but God will turn their life around. They will, they will leave jail, come back home, go back to school, finish schooling, and still fulfill their destiny. Joseph was a, a prisoner. He came out of prison to become a prime minister. So with God, all things are possible. Your daughter may have left schooling and following friends and following some boyfriend. He will come back to his senses and come and continue school and finish and put his life in perspective. Because as a mother, a father, a grandmother, a grandfather who knows how to pray and who knows how to prophesy, did not give up on their sons and daughters and grandchildren. They were prophesying the blessings of God into their children, into their grandchildren. Here you are. All your life, it has been war. It has been chaos. It has been conflict. It has been challenges. It has been lack. It has been pain. And yes, instead of changing the trajectory of your next generation, what do you do? Complaining and whining and complaining and whining. Instead of prophesying to the dry bones, ah, I've been through so much pain. But as for my sons and daughters, as for my grandchildren, they will walk in the blessings of God. They will be the head and not the tail. They will be above and not beneath. They will have more than enough. They will walk. They will know Jesus Christ. I started life without not knowing Jesus early. But as for my grandchildren, they will know Jesus and serve Jesus of their life. You are prophesying to the dry bones. And as I said, dry bones have ears. When you speak the word of the Lord, element, element, the elemental forces, the wind, the wind, the wind, the wind, the, 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 the fire, the land, the earth, the waters, the elemental forces, they all hear the word of the Lord. They all hear the word of the Lord. That's why Joshua could speak and say, son, be still. Sun be still and the whole sun stood still because they can hear the word of the Lord. That's why even a fish can hear the word of the Lord and vomit out money. Birds can hear the word of the Lord and feed Elijah bread and meat every day. The element, they hear the word of the Lord. Moses commanded the earth to open up, the, the whole earth opened up and swallowed those who were rebelling against Jehovah. If you read the book of, 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 of Revelation, the Bible says, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth helped the woman. The earth itself can help you because it hears the voice. The vo Spiritually, everything, everything is a living thing. Spiritually, everything is a living thing. Spiritually, when you enter into the spirit, everything is, is living. Stones can talk. Stones will be talking. Leaves will be, <laughs> everything is living thing. When you go to heaven, flowers, everything is alive, has ears, so be very careful. And instead of speaking, we stay quiet and don't know that sometimes silence or being quiet means consent. If you don't speak back and, and, and prophesy, you have accepted that this is what you want the devil to do to you. So he said, prophesy to these bones and say to them, Oh, dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Not hear ye the word of this person or that person or what I'm going through or what I'm experiencing and what the people are saying and people say I can't do it. And hear ye, there is a specific, hear ye what? The word of God. Not your emotions, not your feelings, not what you think, what others think, the perspective of people, but the word of God. What is God saying about your situation? If God says you shall not die but live, then believe it. Forget about if God is saying you shall live and the doctors are saying you will die, whose report will you believe? If God says that you will marry and the people are saying that you can't marry because you are too late, you will have two children, three children, you are old, who is going to marry you? If God say, if you believe God's word, that all things are possible, then you have to believe the word of the Lord that I will also marry. I will be pregnant. I will, fa I will pass the exams. It doesn't matter if I fail 10 times. I'll pass the exams. It doesn't matter if I've been rejected. Ten times, hundred times, I will apply again and this time I'll get a job. I don't give up. I believe in the word of the Lord that God will never give up on me. Because all things are possible to them that believe. Prophesy the word of the Lord. Prophesy. I think we got to live here. Again, he said to me, prophesy to these dry bones and say to them, Oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. All oh, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Some of us, all we have to do is to tell our situation, hear the word of the Lord. I am not meant to be like this. 
I'm not meant to be defeated. I'm not meant to be sick. I'm not meant to die now. Hear the word of the Lord Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am coming out of this situation. Prophesy. Prophesy. Prophesy to the tribals. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, I want us to prophesy. I don't know what situation it is, but speak against the evil. Speak life instead of death. You now speak the mind of God, which is not you repeating what the devil is doing, not you saying the devil should stop, but you are saying that I shall not die but live and declare the wonderful works of the Lord. Long life will my God satisfy me. <laughs> You didn't just you didn't just stop there. You now took the matter to the next heavenly realms. The, you, the devil says you are poor, you are poor, you are poor, you are poor, financially insufficient, some financial hardship, financial challenges. And if you don't take care, you will accept it that uh, I'm always struggling financially. I don't have money. I don't have money. I'm always lacking. I'm always in need. I'm always borrowing. I'm always in debt. I'm always impoverished. You can speak what you are going through or you can take it to the next level. I'm not poor. I do. I refuse to be poor. That's human level. But the divine level is that I am rich. I am rich. By God's grace, I am rich. Because God is the owner of everything and therefore in Christ, I am rich and have all things. And in Christ, I'm rich and all things. So let the poor say, I am rich. You didn't just concern to the fact that Satan stopped giving me poverty and, and you now take it to the next level. I have more than enough. I'm above and beyond. Tonight, I want you to prophesy. Don't just settle for stopping the devil, but now take the devil to the next level. You want me dead, but I will live and declare the wonderful words of the Lord. You want me to be impoverished, but I'm declaring that I have more than enough and I'm rich in Christ. You want me to be sickly. I walk in health. I walk in vitality. I walk in strength, energy, and vigor in the name of Jesus. Whatever the devil is doing, he's, he's trying to destroy your marriage. Prophesy. I pray for the peace of God, the joy of God, sound my understanding, love to reign in my marriage. I prophesy. So now you begin to speak for the word, the mind of God into your situation. And as I say, problems, dry bones, hear the word. They hear. Everything have ears. If you speak and you believe it, they will back off in the name of Jesus. So tonight, this morning, this afternoon, wherever you are, we want to go by the word of God. which says in Ezekiel 37 verse 4, And he said to me, prophesy to these dry bones. Prophesy, 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 prophesy to these dry bones. We are going to lift up your voice. What dry bones is in your life? You are going to prophesy. Some of us, it's our kids, our sons, our daughters, our husbands. He's not saved. Your daughter is going wayward. Financial issues. You have health challenges. You are going through some marital storms. You are going through some serious issues, crisis in your life. You are going to prophesy yourself out. I'm coming out of this situation. Things are going to get better. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm more than victorious. I'm passing the exams. I'm receiving favor. I'm receiving the blessing. God is my strength. God is my light. God is my salvation. He is the strength of my life. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You will speak the mind of God. I am fruitful. I will multiply. I will increase. I will do well. You are prophesying. You are prophesying. You are prophesying. In the name of Jesus Christ. And victory shall be yours. Victory shall be yours. Lift up your voice and prophesy to the tribals. I prophesy. Masapa, sapa, rapas, kopa, shapa. Mekuna masata, brando se. Reba, shapa, hakatuske. Repa, pa, 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 pa. Reba, baba, sukapa. We prophesy, we prophesy, we prophesy. Prophesy to the dry bones. I prophesy to every dry bones in your life. Dry bones, oh dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy that you shall not die but live. You shall not die but live and declare the wonderful words of the Lord. I prophesy that God has not given you the spirit of fear, but power, love, and sound mind. Receive the peace of God. Receive the joy of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Let the peace of God that surpass all understanding keep your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. 
I prophesy strength. I prophesy vigor, vitality. I prophesy energy. Receive health, receive longevity. Receive health, receive longevity. You shall not die but live and declare the wonderful words of the Lord. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than victorious. I prophesy that you are breaking limitations and you are soaring up on eagles' wings and doing exploit. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy your abundance. You are walking in abundance. You are walking in plenty. You will not walk in lack anymore. In the name of Jesus, receive abundance. More than enough. More than sufficient. The God that we serve is the double-breasted God. El Shaddai, the double-breasted God. All-sufficient God. Receive the all-sufficient grace. Never in need of anything. Not never lacking anything because God is supplying you with divine abundance. Divine supply. Receive divine supply. Receive divine abundance. Receive divine supply. Receive divine supply. Receive divine abundance in the name of Jesus. Receive help. Receive financial help. Receive financial help. May God send you helpers. May God send you strength. May God send you grace in the name of Jesus. You will not walk in shame, reproach, and disgrace anymore. You are walking in the glory of God. Let the glory of God, let the beauty of God, let the glory of God, let the beauty of God decorate you. Let the beauty of God decorate you. Let the glory of God decorate you. Let the beauty of God decorate you. Let the glory of God decorate you. Let the beauty of the Lord, let the beauty, the glory of the Lord come upon you and cause doors to open, opportunities to open to you, cause you to begin to walk in victory, in success, in prosperity, in advancement, in progress. In the name of Jesus, we prophesy to every dry bones. Let your marriage express joy. Let your marriage express peace. Let God bring salvation to your household. Your son is getting saved. Your daughter is getting saved. Your husband is getting saved. Your wife is getting saved. Your family members, your parents are getting saved. They are getting deliverance from drug addiction. They are getting deliverance from alcoholism. They are getting deliverance from sickness and diseases. They are getting deliverance from the yoke of darkness. They are getting deliverance from demonic attacks. Receive deliverance for your son. Receive deliverance for your daughter. Receive deliverance for your entire household. We prophesy to the dry bones. Receive that job. Receive that job. No more un unemployment. No more unemployment. You are getting a good job. A well-paying job. A job. Some of you are moving into your own companies. God is giving you the wisdom. God is giving you the ideas. The internet entrepreneurship to open your own businesses. You are breaking forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Rapaskatalaba. Somebody, you are getting pregnant. You are getting pregnant. You are married and you have been wanting to get a child. But you have been experiencing barrenness and miscarriage. You are breaking forth and breaking through. I speak to the valley of barrenness. I speak to the valley of miscarriage. Today, hear ye the word of the Lord. From today forward, you will be pregnant. You will have your children. You will be pregnant. You will have your children. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the dry bones of singleness. Break forth into marriage. Break forth into marriage. Break forth into marriage. You will marry. You shall marry. In the name of Jesus, I break the curse. The, the, the yoke, the spell of singleness of your life. I divorce you from every spirit husband, every spirit wife, every altar, any evil spirit that has married to you. I break the marital covenant with you and I move you into your marital destiny. Wherever your husband is, May God connect you to your husband. May God connect you to your wife. May God connect you to your husband. May God connect you to your wife. The marriage is coming forth. The engagement is coming forth to the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, I break the yoke of rejection and disappointment. From today, you are walking in acceptance and you are walking in favor. You are walking in acceptance and you are walking in favor. I prophesy the word of the Lord that it shall be well with you. You shall do well. You shall increase. You shall learn to know God. You will know God. You will serve the Lord. You will live a righteous life. The devil wants to deceive you to thinking you are a sinner. But you are the righteousness of God. I prophesy that you are the righteousness of the Lord. You will read your Bible. You will pray. You will meditate on the word of the Lord. You will shun evil. You will love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your might. You will serve the Lord with all your heart. You will do well for the kingdom of God. Your destiny will come to pass. It is never too late with your dreams and vision. Prophesy the word of the Lord into the, your son, into your daughter, into your husband's life, into your marriage, into your dreams and vision. So shall it be. We prophesy life. We prophesy the goodness, the mercies, the blessing. I prophesy the blessing. Every area there is a curse. I prophesy God's blessing into your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the weak say, I am strong. 
Let the sick say, I am healed. In the name of Jesus. Let the poor say, I'm rich. In the name of Jesus. Receive help. Receive grace. Receive favor. Be restored. Be restored. Be restored. In Jesus' name. Mentala da do se ke tele kashata la ba, mentala de kata da da da, raba do se ke le busha pa la ba do se le ba, mentala le sakata ya da ba. Amen, 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 amen. Again, he said, prophesy to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, today, this moment, the dry bones have heard the word of the Lord, and things are going to shift in your favor. Shift in your advantage. Keep on prophesying. Never stop prophesying. And what you say is what you will see. If you can say it, you will see it. If you can confess it, you can possess it. Today, may God change situations to bring favor to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. If you have your communion, try and take the communion and declare victory. Victory over every dry bones situation. Take your communion and say, Father, after this, I'm going to be taking the communion. Father, as I partake of the communion, I gain victory, mastery, victory, dominion over every valley situation in the name of Jesus. I'm more than a conqueror. I'm a more than victorious through Christ Jesus, my Savior. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Join us every day at 11 p.m. Eastern Time for prayers, 4 a.m. London, 5 a.m. Europe. 1 p.m. Australia, 6 a.m. East Africa, West Africa. West Africa is 5 a.m. Join us and be blessed in Jesus' name. Please also connect to the new single song released by Minister Esther. Thank you, Jesus. The latest song has been released today. It's called Thank You, Jesus by Minister Esther L. Blessing. You can find the song on our YouTube channel, uh, Minister Esther Word. And when you go there, like, subscribe, and also share and leave your comment. We want you to just share what God has done for you. What one thing have God done for you in the comment session? Just what has God done for you? What has Jesus done for you? Just share what the Lord, simple something simple, Lord, what the Lord Jesus has done for you. We want to say, Lord, we are grateful because many times we take things for granted. Somebody's busy seeking for marriage. Somebody's busy seeking for miracles and breakthroughs and something. Only to realize that the, the person was just about to die this year. And then God, that accident happens or that surgery happens or that cancer or whatever, and God redeems them. So if God had not delivered them from that calamity, that tragedy, that misfortune, that spell, that charm, that bewitchment, they wouldn't live to fulfill, to enjoy any other thing. And that's what we want you to understand, that God is being merciful to us every day. And so don't, because we haven't received our ultimate goals, doesn't mean he's not doing, no, no, he does things for us every day. And we have to wake up being thankful, being grateful. So please go and listen to the new song on, uh, on our YouTube channel, Minister Esther Word. Like, share, comment by sharing your um, testimony. Short, something short, just something short of what God has done for you and also share it to others. And God bless you as you do so, in Jesus' name. Uh, for those who will be coming back to listen to this broadcast, I will, uh, I will tag the link. You can just click on it at the end of the sermon, and you can also listen to it and be blessed by it. But let us have the attitude of gratitude every day, and thank God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Any giving, any donation can be done through our website to support the ministry, www.freshfireprayer.com, www fresh fire prayer ministry cash up is fresh fire prayer fresh fire prayer God Lord, you have not give me up i separate you my enemies you have delivered me